LogMeIn Rescue is a solution that offers anytime, anywhere support built with the power, security, scalability, and reliability that users have come to expect. The first thing that you will see when you open the Technician Console is the homepage. Here, users will find a variety of information including new features, tips and tricks, surveys, and news alerts, which are updated regularly. So let's go ahead and start a session. You just come over here and create a new session. Here, you can populate certain fields like the name or any other custom field that you create in the Admin Center. You also have the option of creating a pin in four different ways. You can either create a pin and read it to the user, email the pin, create a link to the pin, or SMS the pin to the user. We're going to go with option one for this step. So, we'll click Create a Pin, and then we're going to have the user navigate to logmein123.com or support.me and enter the six digit code that you just created. Once the end user hits Start Download, a small applet will be running, and the technician will actually be able to connect to the end user. So, now that you're in a session, let's have a quick tour of the rescue interface. You can see that the rescue interface is split into three sections. In the top section, you have various actions and session queues. These actions include new session, technician monitoring, and session controls. The left side of the user interface is the chat log. Here, the technician will be able to chat with the end user as well as all the actions that were taken during the session will be recorded. To demonstrate this, let's start a quick chat with our end user to see what the problem is. The right section is the main session window, but let's start with just viewing and remotely controlling the end user's computer. In the session window, make sure you're clicked on the Customer Desktop tab. Here you will see two options, one to launch a remote control session and one to launch a desktop viewing session. For now, let's go ahead and click on Desktop Viewing Session. The end user should receive a prompt letting them know that the technician is trying to view their screen and might perform a variety of actions. Have the end user click OK, and you'll be able to see their screen. During the remote viewing session, you'll be able to use the laser pointer or whiteboard feature to direct the user. However, if you would like to control the end user's desktop, you'll need to end the desktop viewing session and launch remote control. Now, you can control the end user's computer, mouse, and keyboard. You can still use the whiteboard and laser pointer functions like you could in a remote viewing session. You can also control alt delete the computer, start the task manager, or copy items to the clipboard very easily. You can even take screen recordings of your remote control session. By clicking on the screen recording button, you can turn screen recording on or off as well as select a folder where you want the recordings to be stored. In the Session window, click the File Manager tab and click Launch File Manager Session. Here, you can transfer files from computer to computer. On the left side is the technician's computer and on the right side is the end user. You can drag and drop files or select many files and use the transfer arrow at the top. You can even synchronize folders, making sure all files are on both machines. Just like you did in the File Manager, you can click on the System Info tab and click Request Information. This displays a high-level view of the performance of the machine, including basic system information, top-running processes, high-level memory utilization, disk drives, and events. If you would like more detailed information, you can click on the individual tabs to gather all the information for each. Click on the Reboot tab. Here, you can see the reboot options that Rescue provides. During your rescue trial, you have a license of Rescue Plus Mobile included for the life of the trial. This allows you to connect to a smartphone and do things like device configuration, remote control on Android, or chat and view screenshots from an end user on an iPhone. Now, let's go ahead and connect to a smartphone device. We'll start a session and create a pin like we did before and enter the pin on the smartphone you would like to connect to. At this point, the end user will have already downloaded the Logme and Rescue app onto their device. Once the end user enters the PIN, the session will begin. 
If you connect to an Android, BlackBerry, Windows Mobile, or Symbian device, you'll be able to chat with the end user, file transfer, remote control, run system diagnostics, and many other features as if you were on a computer. Now, let's look at a couple of the more advanced features of Rescue. Unattended access is a great feature of Rescue. When connected to a machine, you can set up unattended access so you can connect to the computer even when no one is at the computer. Just click on the Unattended Access tab, click Request Unattended Access, and the end user will receive a prompt to allow access. Once they click Yes, you'll be able to connect to the machine at a later time. To connect, click on the Computers button in the Unattended Access tab. Once you select a computer, click Connect, and you'll be prompted for an admin username and password. Once you enter this username and password, you'll be able to connect to the computer and run any action that you were able to before. This includes things like remote control, file manager, and system info. If you have any questions, please feel free to view the documentation in the Trial Center, or contact customer care at help.logmein.com.